Yeah, lovely. Oh, we're going to add your suppleness to that. Balance, balance, balance. case at the moment Billy is that your left canter is just a couple of weeks behind your right canter but if you keep training her with that travers on the circle and then being able to take that large it's going to feel like this because all that you've got this way is that what, wherever you position her her balance is good that's all it is well done I think we've got a good combination between you and Mary going on I do <laughs> Ella was, um, sorry, Millie was so funny because she did a walk to canter and I was like, do it again. If it's not a seven or above, do it again. <laughs> She's like, it is a seven at a novice. I was like, we're not at novice. <laughs> Come on. Come on your circle at this end. And she's sitting better as well. So now. much better. <laughs> so much better. I love it when you get to the point where you can actually fix things by collecting them. Because yes. then I'm like, this is real dress hard now. <laughs> I can go slowly and bouncy everywhere. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, I think Millie's still a bit hooked on the power. Yeah, big canter. Big power. We need to swap, Millie. I'm going to send you my four-year-old and I'll have Ella for a few weeks because I'm really <laughs> bored of galloping everywhere. Dad, I said to Emma, as soon as I get a bit of money, I want to send it to Ella to for like two, three weeks. I said, she, you can, but she probably won't come back. <laughs> Good job, and then go try there on your circle. Because isn't and she isn't she most the most amenable oh, she's a sweet, being? She is a sweetheart. She's just like my little frazzle. I say little frazzle's like seventeen pounds, but ah, feel how simple that was. Yeah, yeah? that's how it should be. You ask, she does it. You pat her, <laughs> chill out. Good, and then go straight. Yeah, exactly. So just watch there when you took that into the hard pass, you've just got to make sure you can to forward as well as over. World, which is tucker bottom underneath her. Ah, very good. See how that then makes you canter even better? Yeah. Yeah? And I just think if you can get it on the set, sometimes the only reason that I don't want you to do your travel large first is because she does it by running on her forehand again. Can you see there how you have to then kick her because you feel like she's going to break? So that's where you've got to make sure that you can keep her sat back as you push her into your travel. Oh, On your circle, you don't let her do it by running. So although it's harder to get, when you get it, it's much better. Does that make sense? Because you can't do it for her on the circle. That's why it feels horrible when you don't have it, because you can't do it. Yes, good. Now take that feeling large. And do exactly the same thing. So they push her bum down with your bum. And push your shoulders back. Yeah, just a little whoa, whoa, whoa. Because yeah. every time you get to that seat, starts wanting to run into a four beat camper again. a bit more. I mean, just sit like you're showing off a bit more. 
<laughs> As if you're Charlotte. Exactly. There, good. Right, I'm going away. <laughs> got to earn the dollar. Keep oh, it going. God. Keep it going. That's the problem when you've got a place this beautiful. You finish your to-do list and just start again at the top, don't yeah. you? Yes, very good. Give her a breather again. Well done. To die. Does that make sense? Yeah. So that is your next bit of homework with her. You have to make sure that every everywhere you go in that left canter, she's in a good balance. Then you go and do something in it. When you bend it that way, it comes from your leg as well. So there's a, quite a few little similarities that you do on both of them, but they are totally different. Yeah, so they are totally different horses, but there's still little things that you're doing that will benefit both of them. Yeah, good, well done. And it's basically, it's, it's that you're a little bit more thorough and patient when you see things through. Can we just not? Okay. <laughs> well done. Impressive, really. There you go. Just do a direct walk to canter. You know, anybody can do that if they train their horse to do it. So you have to set that bar that high now. Uh, much better canter. Well done. Okay, one more 20 meter circle. Then you're going to go down the centre line from A, half past to E. Then your half 20 meter circle, S to P. S to R, sorry. Be helpful if I knew the letters. You would think I would by now. I don't. <laughs> I know the patterns. I like the three quarter one. So look at your line, forward, 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 and add your suppleness to that. Balance, balance, balance. Good, well done. Now you've got to keep your balance really good here so that you get her really in the right place to do your canter walk, canter. So start setting her up. Three, two, one, and walk. Good, change, bend and direct. Good, very nice. And then down your centre line from A, carefully you don't motorbike the turn like you did the first one. So sit her back round it. Almost imagine you're doing like a tiny quarter pirouette. Forward, forward, forward and bend. Forward and bend. Forward and bend. Forward and bend. Good, Millie. Well done. Then really think about that balance. Three, two, one. Yes, good. Yeah, just don't rush the setup because they because you kind of went walk, change, go. She didn't quite have the bend secure, so then she just slightly tried, she did two steps of trot. This one, you really took your time and made it really polished. Really good with her. So much better. Just because
if she's a sharp horse, you've got to have your leg up. Well done. I just gave her a stretch off now. She